myself uh, Santil Kumar. I'm a co-founder and CEO of uh, GeoVio Healthcare, where we are uh, using this cloud technology to, to provide a personalized maternal care for uh, remote mothers, especially in a remote uh, villages. So from like yesterday and uh, today, uh, we are talking about a lot of like, you know, um, uh, enterprise specific uh, problem statement. So all this uh, talk sessions are targeting like, you know, enterprise specific problem statement and how uh, this cloud tools are helping us to solve that. Today morning, uh, we had a session with the uh, uh, IT secretary. So where he is talking about the governance specific uh, problem. Okay. See, compared to the enterprise specific and government, go government specific, government has a huge scale. Okay. Whatever problem or product like they are deploying, it always has a huge scale. Uh, for you, uh, like you know, in Tamil Nadu, uh, we have 38 districts and then uh, almost uh, 388 blocks and 12,688 uh, uh, panjayat villages and more than 80,000 uh, villages. This is the scale of the state. And we have almost 8 to 9 crores uh, people are there. Every year in Tamil Nadu, we have 25 lakh, approximately 2.5 million uh, babies are born. And 70 percentage of these babies are born in the remote uh, villages. So this is scale. So any product you build for a governance and uh, almost you are reaching the huge audience, these data are periodic data. Uh, typically, a pregnant mother will do a monthly regular uh, health checkups. So, if you take 2.5 uh, million mother into multiply of uh, 10, almost 25 million checkups happens. So, more than 50,000 uh, health workers are there across the state, every uh, in the state. So, here like uh, my talk is all about like how to build this cloud connected technology to provide and care about the remote pregnant mother. Uh, we all know like you know, uh, in all western countries we are we are well ahead of all technology but the problem is uh, the birth rate is drastically reducing okay and most of the birth rates are contributed actually from a villages and right now we don't have a technology to help those mothers to have a safer uh, delivery and india is the leading in the maternal mortality rate every day 800 mothers dies all related to last compli complication at the last minute delivery so uh, I'm an engineer. I you, I mostly spent my like knowledge to solve this enterprise specific problem. So one fine day, I got a call from my mom saying that uh, my sister was pregnant. So I was so excited uh, uh, to hear that. But my mom told me that uh, she is missing her regular antenatal uh, checkup. So at the time, I really don't know what is this antenatal checkup means. So I went to internet and searched uh, what is antenatal checkup. Uh, I come to know that as per the World Health Organization. Every woman has to go through minimum eight antenatal checkup to identify high risk pregnancy at very early stage. And missing those checkups leads to have a complication at the time of uh, delivery. And uh, in India, India is the worst place in the world to deliver a baby because of such a complications. So I went to my sister and told, uh, no, this is very important, but why oh, you are missing such as checkups? Uh, and she responded me that um, uh, every checkup involves a uh, travel. Uh, I have to travel like 10 to 12 kilometer from my home to the nearest hospital. Beyond that, I need to wait 5 to 6 hours in the hospital to get just 5 minute consultation from a doctor. So at first pregnancy, especially on first trimester, if you are waiting, sitting for 3 hours in the chair, you are already your back won't start paining. So most of the women, they hate waiting on those uh, antenatal uh, checkup. So my sister told me that like, um, uh, I understand this seriousness, but if I am not sick, I try to avoid visiting the hospital. I take standard iron folic acid tablet. So I directly went to the doctor to understand why it takes so much time in the hospital, uh, why we are making the pregnant mother wait for a six to seven hours in the hospital. What exactly happened? So the doctor responded me like, um, we basically use this uh, traditional uh, medical devices. Uh, any mother come to the hospital, we capture their vitals such as blood pressure, blood sugar, saturation. This is a typical vital parameter we capture and we capture their symptoms or they have any bleeding, vomiting, all the symptoms we capture. On average, it takes 10 to 15 minutes per patient to capture this data, digitize it and then give it to the doctor. So this is a traditional OP process. Uh, if 60%, 60 patients are there, that means in an hour, you can do maximum five to six uh, uh, patient. So that means 10 hour, you have to wait to get your consulting. If you are a last one in the day, you have to wait minimum 10 hour for that. Uh, as an engineer, like, you know, I understand that, like I asked the doctor, if I built a model where the whole experience are digitized and made it faster under 30 second time frame, 
uh, will that helpful uh, uh, to you so the doctor responded yes because uh, this is a checkup process it take lot of time every mother if it is digitized still i could able to consult them because end of the day i am not doing all this blood pressure monitoring all those things the the, uh, the nurse will do collect the data digitize it or give it in a paper format to me so here i asked the doctor like you know i will build a model where you will get a digital version of the data before even uh, the patient reach the hospital the doctor accepted we can pilot it so i went to the pharmacy and bought all this uh, medical device myself i am a hardware engineer i worked in like samsung most of the healthcare sector uh, in samsung all galaxy phones so i see all these devices have um, a display if i want to measure my blood pressure it will tell this is my value so typically what happen is as a user knowing this value does not add any any sense so as an engineer what i have done is i removed this display in all these uh, devices and attach a hs01 uh, bluetooth sensor inside that i built a simple application uh, for my sister and told uh, whenever you are feeling uncomfortable or you want to consult a doctor just use this device and this app click one button in that what it will do is it will capture your all 6 to 7 vital parameter through bluetooth it digitize it and send one sms link to the doctor so in the doctor i informed uh, whenever my sister do any health checkup you will receive one sms just to click the link the same way how the nurse will show it in the paper it will show all her vital parameter uh, swipe left side you can see her symptoms have any uh, particular symptoms if you saw swipe on the uh, right side you can see her previous health record and what feedback you gave uh, if you find everything is normal then you can say uh, this good button you can press the good button i'll send on smiley to my sister saying that you are safe you don't need to get panic and you continue your same iron folic acid tablet and i digitally transfer the payment to the doctor if a doctor find some abnormality he can press this bad button so what i will do is i'll send one notification to her husband stating that there is a emergency you need to pick her for the uh, hospital if a husband find it like you know um, i am in the middle of the work i could not able to pick her i have integrated this ola web services so i directly call the api where the my sister's home is a source address and the hospital is a destination address the cab will go and pick her and by by the time there is a token number is generated in the hospital system you, you have whenever you go to hospital they, there is a token number so my sister visit the hospital and she does not need to wait in any queue to do this traditional uh, vital collection all the data are digitized available for a doctor so you can directly jump into the consultation room get the 5 minute consulting and then whatever prescription they are giving she so can get it from them so this is a model i built as a pilot and just gave it to her she after the year like you know she delivered a baby girl and she told me that um, her entire experience was really good and she find the value of how this technical components are adding you know personalization and uh, one thing she she told me that um, uh, as a first pregnancy uh, i have a lot of queries like you know sometime i have a bleeding sometime i have vomiting i have a habit of searching internet for every symptoms uh, we all know how internet works if i say i have a shoulder pain the first search result is it can be a symptom of your heart attack so after seeing the result we will get more anxiety and panic and especially on a pregnancy when she searching something and it says like you know symptom of abortion or something she will get more anxiety panic but what she responded me that after this connected uh, technology i never searched the internet i always felt my doctor is connected with me and if anything goes bad before even i ring my husband he is already notified and i don't need to worry about my transportation who will take me to the hospital the cab is available so complete connected experience and that give a very positive uh, pregnancy experience for her so uh, this is a pilot i have done and uh, after this a lot of my friends her friends like you no know, uh, everyone started asking me can i get the whatever you have built and I, my wife is pregnant i want to just monitor her I, my sister is pregnant so so there is a market is for this market so what we have done is i went to deeper into the uh, problem statement and i found that uh, this is one of the toughest problem in the world even government spending huge crores of money uh, to reduce the maternal mortality rate but still uh, especially developing countries uh, it's a problem so we went to one village uh, it's a tribal community in uh, uti and wayanad tribal belt there are 72 untapped tribal people are there which contributes to the entire tamil nadu and kerala's maternal mortality rate because in india tamil nadu and kerala is the best pregnancy care state like they are the number one number two but because of this 72 tribal community their maternal mortality is contributing so the government told me that like uh, uh, i i need a solution where uh, 
this people we need a digital version to monitor so i went to the village and uh, i interacted with a lot of tribal women and one lady told uh, this is her second pregnancy at uh, first pregnancy at seventh month the baby got aborted so she had a lot of bleeding but before taking her to the hospital uh, the baby got aborted so this is her second pregnancy so i was curious to know what causes the abortion because it's not happening in her third month it's happening in the seventh month so i went to the primary health care center and asked uh, Uh, something called mcp card mother child production card so uh, i i get the card and i see that uh, the card says the report says the baby born successfully it has almost 2.3 kg weight and the parents signed in the document and they received a 10000 rupees for the delivery so this is what the report says but the family member saying that uh, the baby is no more so i, I must i'm curious like you no know, whom to believe either the family or the um, uh, health staff nurses so i directly went to the district officer and then asked them can i get uh, 12 two years baseline data of this particular taluk this uh, set of villages under that taluk so he redirected me to some um, uh, uh, remote hospital where there is a data admin so see see just to open one excel sheet and when i ask the data and see is pulling some reference data and manually typing all this records in front of me and then uh, almost like a uh, uh, 3000 plus mother data he populated in front of me and she took a print out and gave it to me so i asked her uh, this is how you uh, produce reports and very innocently she told uh, my boss told anyone from government of india or world health organization or ngo come and ask for a data this is the uh, places you have to populate like this and give a print out so uh, here i realized that what happening is government spending huge money but the care is not reaching them one of the reason is this people are not coming to the primary health care center and every successful registration the government is providing 10000 or in tamil nadu it is 18000 cash they are providing so what this people are doing is they register themselves fill all the data manually and they try to get the money so this is what happening so i went to the district collector and told um, i built something it's working for my sister it should work for here also uh, i just want to do a pilot uh, in this particular village so he agreed uh, and he told like you know, we re- we need engineers to solve such a specific problem because most of the engineers are very busy in solving enterprise problem but we need uh, engineers to solve this specific problem so very support you uh, the district collector so this is a model i built um, a, a wearable device the device look like some bracelet uh, gold color bracelet and there is a medical device uh, it's a 6 to 7 device in the bag and i i instructed the health worker every month you see if a particular woman is not visiting the primary health care center okay you directly go to their home and capture their vitals symptoms everything digitally through this cloud platform the data will be reflected on this uh, doctor's portal doctor can go through the data and doctor can give a real time feedback based on the feedback the, the health worker can provide so basically the feedback will be low risk mother or high risk mother and if it is a low risk mother they, they distribute iron folic acid some nutrition they distribute if it is a high risk mother they take them to the nearest um, uh, rural hospital for further screening so this is a model i deployed there so every month uh, uh, the health worker go and do that this is a bracelet you see that it's a gold color i, I assumed that any indian woman like a, a gold color version of that instead of a typical watch so we are monitoring so we are monitoring on our back end system we closely work with a lot of doctors to build this basic ai model what it will do is based on the data set it basically classify the mother into the high risk and low risk bucket okay this is what the algorithm will do uh, we are going through all the data and some of the women we see there is no fetal information and the data which is coming from the wearable it's look abnormal almost 100000 steps in a day and we are wondering why this pregnant mother is jogging every day like she is putting so much stress and lot of activities are happening so we thought of we should go to her home and educate the family member that you are almost eighth month so don't stress on you stress she already having a low lying uh, placenta it's high risk so we went to their home and we found that uh, she is not at all having the wearable so i thought might be she lost the device so i asked her like where is that where is the device uh, so she told me that um, my husband told i am going outside give the smart watch to me so whatever data we collected is actually husband data that's why ai is not able to detect the high risk pattern and there is no fetal heart rate information there so now our biggest challenge is technology is there but how i will ensure that like you no know, so i thought of okay go and tell the husband give it to her for 9 month 
then once delivered then you can take the watch no problem for me so then we went to the another mother just to do multiple you no know, user journey to understand users thing so she told me that this device is so luxury if i wear it and go outside in my community everyone in my village staring at my wrist they are all looking at my wrist so i felt very annoying so what i'll do is i am only use the device if i am inside the home if i am going outside i don't use the device so it's not only a husband problem more on a cultural problem so we are looking that like you know we have built the product iot product is there all those thing is there but how to ensure they wear it for that and this all tribal people and they have something called this oozy money passy money everyone in the community they wear it in the neck someone in the wrist so i asked them like um, what you are all every woman is wearing so i asked them what you are uh, wearing it and one lady responded uh, this is our culture like a city is how you people do smart thing like same thing we do it in a village so i asked them everyone in the village wear uh, this oozy money stuff and they told yeah it's a culturally every woman in uh, uh, in the village wear so i asked her if i give a wearable device in the same form factor uh, will you wear it for next 9 uh, month period so re- she responded that sir if you are giving in that form factor i can guarantee that my husband never take it from me because he don't want to wear this oozy money passy money thing and go around that so so she gave that idea so with that idea actually we built uh, this is a product you can see it in the screen yeah, here also i can show so uh, whatever your apple watch do all the magic it can do it's uh, optimized with 9 month of battery life that mean throughout pregnancy so you don't need to recharge the device that's why i removed the display all the component so if a, if a, she does not uh, finding it to wear it in the wrist she can remove the sensor and place it in this put it on her neck okay and some women like i don't want to wear it in all the form factor they already have this mangal shoot we will attach to that okay start monitoring them so this is a hack we have done and another challenge is like uh, uh, we used to have this set of medical devices six different devices for blood pressure blood sugar all are iot based devices so we put it on under the bag there is a bag we will give the health worker to visit door by door to do the health checkup so one fine day i carried all the bag and walk along with this mountain and i found that the ecg machine is very huge carrying it in a bag is a painful experience so i asked this health worker uh, uh, if i give something same form factor of your mobile phone uh, will that helpful uh, to you and immediately she responded me if you are giving the whole bag into the small pouch i can put it on my small pouch and i can visit more number of women in the community so with that experience we built uh, this product whatever you are seeing here it's a one product which can measure more than 10 vital parameter digitally uh, what you need to do is just to put it on your forehead there's a sensor just to put it on your forehead like this there are multiple sensor placed so it can measure all the parameter and good thing is it digitally transferred to the mobile phone because that is where the manual human error happens if they use medical devices and enter into the application they produce manual human error so with this innovation what we have done is the data are transferred through bluetooth so the health worker has to go to their home okay when she is near so here we architected the mobile application such a way that it works offline zero internet it seamlessly work offline so she carries a mobile phone go near to the pregnant mother the mobile phone using bluetooth le low energy it can identify and pair with this wearable and in the mobile it will tell you are in front of priyanka so priyanka photo will come on the mobile phone and uh, she will ask priyanka like how you are feeling so whatever she is telling the data in the application do voice recognition in the local language and convert every symptoms and uh, if that is not happening there is a pictures she can show the picture you have vomiting you have bleeding so they can say yes or no so she just need to click the buttons uh, in that once the symptoms are captured she just to give this device hold it for a 30 second time frame the entire vital pattern is transferred in- including blood sugar ecg all the parameter once the data is uh, captured she can move on to the uh, next next pregnant mother yeah so uh, here it's a strip so we we follow the standard method you just prick the blood place the strip inside this and it measure your blood sugar and for the ecg see uh, one of the challenge in the ecg is in a remote village if you ask the woman to remove the sharees put the patch they never the family never accepted to do that so what we have done is we put all the patches on the device itself 
you hold it on position 1, 2 lead, 3 lead. So, connected into the different combination, this is a central nodal point, most of our sensing parameters are actually transmitted through this. So, we capture that parameter and complete digital version of the ECG will be captured. So, uh, and then for a temperature, is a temperature sensor in front and there is a SPO2 sensor. So, another thing is it can find like uh, the device, basically the wearable device. So, it can measure, uh, uh, there is a unique algorithm we built. What it will do is it will use micro vibration technology. It continuously monitor the small vibration produced by the pregnant mother's body. Th small vibration happening like all your organs are functioning, there are small vibration. So, the device continuously capture or listen that vibration and based on that it will capture the sleep cycle and then importantly how much calories they are burning every day. That means how much nutrition this particular mother required. Okay, right now we dump the nutrition, there is no personalized nutrition program, okay. But this device ensures that this mother is putting this much burning of calories and she need this much of nutrition every day basis. So, all this smart AI algorithms are running on the device, important thing is offline, okay. And how the functionality works is 30 days period, it captures all this data and store it inside the device itself, it has a memory, it can hold up to 1000 days of uh, pregnancy and child data. And uh, Whenever the pregnant, uh, the health worker visit the home, the medical device data and this data will be digitized and transferred to the mobile app. So, when they bring this mobile app to any connected region, might be in the primary healthcare center, it automatically push the data through our uh, AI platform. So, what this AI will do is like they may do for 300, 400 mother checkup all across the villages, Manjayat, and it will analyze the pattern. So, there are 54 high risk pattern we have uh, figured out. So, it will see um, the previous pregnancy and uh, previous month and this month is the weight is, the, what is that uh, variation of blood pressure, all, all the other parameter it will see and based on that it will flag them into the high risk, low risk bucket. For a doctor, go through this uh, data set, give a quick feedback uh, on them, based on the feedback that the follow up action will be taken. If a mother is in a high risk, uh, currently typically what they will do is any high risk mother, uh, they will recommend that, hey you are high risk go to the uh, central hospital or GH hospital and see the expert gynecologist. There is no expert gynecologist in the panchayat. So, you go, go there and you need to get a consultation. 97 percentage of pregnant mother never turn up that. Okay, they know that they are high risk, but they never go for a follow up uh, checkup. And they are the victim of the maternal mortality rate. Okay, because they do not do that, they the time of delivery, they may have excess bleeding and it leads to our death. So, what we have done is we integrated our platform to government of India's e-Sanjeevini portal where the expert gynecologist might be there in a remote villages of uh, Uti, but they can connect to the expert gynecologist sitting in Chennai through the video call. And one good thing is in a live video call, we will transfer the vitals because most of the teleconsultation, one of the big challenges, uh, I am talking to the doctor and telling I have a breathing problem. Other side, doctor never get any clue. This breathing problem is because of my, I have a low SpO2 or it is because of I just ran. Why this breathing problem is coming? Because doctor in the video call, he never get me vital. If it is an in-person call, immediately doctor put a stethoscope on me or doctor put like you no know, SpO2 monitor or some ECG they can take to identify what is that breathing problem. But in a virtual call, that is not possible. So, what we have done is, we connected this device uh, to this pops up like real time. So, this in a video call, live call, doctor can see all my vitals including the ECG and the decision make, making is better because of this uh, live vital and symptoms from the patient. So, this is a model we deployed and this is how it will happen. So, they will go to the home, whoever missed the checkup on the PHC, the system automatically generates a report. Hey, these are the mother, they have a due date but they haven't visited this month. So, they will go to the home, this is how the mother have the device, okay, uh, using the offline application, she capture all the data and this is how the data will be transferred through the app and whenever they find it in a connected zone, the data will feed to the AI system, the AI will flag high risk, low risk mother, for a low risk mother, the instruction will be given back to the health provider and they can provide nutrition whatever it is, for high risk mother, it digitally transferred to the e-Sanjeevani platform. So, they can quickly get an expert consultation and uh, so we built this pro model almost 6 months it is running. Uh, I want to share one of the technology, it is a 
cultural challenges another cultural challenges like um, we found that most of the high risk mother uh, the system flagging is uh, is a nutrition issue they are anemic or they have a low weight instead of every month the mother weight has to increase 400 to 800 grams every month it has to increase till the delivery but here what happening is mother weight is decreasing and those mothers are flagging as a high risk mother so we went to the district officer and told we need to have a better nutrition program uh, because whatever nutrition we are providing i don't know it, it's not sufficient or it's not really reaching them so we packed all the nutrition started distributing to the mother but here uh, uh, we found that after giving all the nutrition there is no improvement on the health okay so again i went to their home and i found that whatever nutrition we are giving so they used to give it to the family member they don't consume it either to their children's or husband and we found one pattern that they have a habit of drinking lot of water so they have a small pot drinking lot of water so one hack i thought okay she is not taking nutrition whatever form i give she is not going to take it but she has a habit of drinking uh, water so what we have done is we split this nutrition into the uh, packet format another one is a dehydrated uh, powder format so i instructed the health worker once your checkup is completed open the pot mix this powder inside the water and add some kind of a neem taste so that the family don't touch us the water so this is a small hack uh, we done in the village and after one two month time the doctor called us and say uh, senthil what you guys have done suddenly every mother almost 700 mother in the community gains almost like uh, 400 500 grams some mother grain 1 1 1, one kg of uh, weight then we told that that we have done some hack like we are providing now nutrition through water okay so this system really worked and uh, so what we have done is after this whole pilot happening for a year and they called us to the village uh, they told that there is a you should come and uh, see this uh, place uh, so i went to the village and uh, the primary healthcare center almost 112 people gathered outside the primary healthcare center and i was wondering because i'm going alone tribal people they are very tough to work with okay and i was wondering if something goes bad or like i don't know what happening in that okay then uh, there is a new born baby and one village person holding it in the hand and everyone is giving to other hand other hand other hand like everyone is uh, moving the baby from one hand to other hand and finally it landed up to me and uh, the baby's mom she told me that this is the first time in our village you could able to feel the weight of the baby because the baby weight is 2.9 kg for any centuries they never have a baby of 2.9 kg weight okay and this is the first time they are seeing a smiling baby that baby after delivery they never seen a smiling you uh, know healthy uh, baby that's why the entire village people gathered and literally they are celebrating everyone holding all those things so uh, this is a technology but a lot of complicated cloud architecture is there but amount of impact it's created is huge so right now we deployed it into on, across the tamil nadu mostly on uh, remote villages so the architecture what we have done is very complicated because uh, we have a 5 million customer onboarded into the platform all are women uh, especially in this uh, 12000 panchayat uh, the data flow is huge so government actually need architect like us to build the model because every day there is a huge amount of data and video call happening so every layer of the structure which is like application and microservices and then uh, database handling because the data query requests are different okay and initially like you know we were forced to use the government's data uh, data data center it is very bad then we convinced them to go for this cloud uh, uh, center optimized it end to end and now most of the mothers are using and this project uh, we started in wayanad right now almost uh, uh, 3 lakh checkups we completed and all the tribal community we successfully deployed uh, uh, this project uh, last few weeks before the health minister officially launched in tamil nadu so our objective is using all the ai cloud technology all the tools making pregnancy is a safer experience uh, for the mother that's our whole intention we along with the government uh, working on this project and i just want to show a demo like uh, how this entire data capturing happening so these are the parameter it will capture on the device so they just need to turn on the device and go near to the pregnant mother 
So it automatically identify based on their wearable, like whatever wearable uh, they have. Yeah, so if it is a new mom, they can onboard them into the application. So this is how they will do vital capturing. So they attach this cough, same device. The good thing is it's a portable, easy to carry, and they could be able to visit more number of women in a day. That's uh, one of the important aspects. So you can see this data in real time. It is popping on the mobile phone. If the mobile phone is connected to the e Sanjeevani, in the doctor portal also in a real time it will reflect. So they just need to put it on the forehead, traditional IR based one. So the digital version of the data will come. So this is the SPO2 sensor, just need, they need to put a finger on that. Yeah. So ECG is the one of the thing because typical ECG machine is very huge. So we have done a lot of optimization uh, uh, to measure the ECG without any uh, no, operational complications. These are the electrodes. They need to touch it on different uh, side. And it basically creating a circuit between your heart. Okay, and that ECG, complete lead to ECG is coming. So what it will identify is any, uh, because pregnancy, this is also one of the component. If any heart, uh, like you know, echo related issues, it can identify early. And another thing, this particular woman has a high stress. Okay, we identify her stress factor is high. We try to like, you know, work on that particular aspect. Yeah. So doctor other side can see complete ECG. For the blood sugar, because initially, actually we built a non-invasive blood sugar. It's a sensor based. But doctor recommended uh, like go with the traditional method, the prick and place method. So the same method uh, we used. And another good thing is like once the mom, see deliver the baby, so what she can do is, uh, she will remove this uh, uh, sensor and every newborn baby they have a culture of putting a black color thread, small black color thread they will put it. So she can attach this sensor into that thread and it starts monitoring the baby for next two years. So overall it provides the thousand day care. In the baby monitoring, what we do is we ensure that the baby has a proper sleeping pattern, the baby has a vaccination on time. Uh, we deployed in some village, so typically what one of the contribution for the neonatal mortality is the baby already vaccinated for the field staff, she so has 100 vaccine ideally sitting, she so has to complete all the 100 vaccine, so you will put the same vaccine to the same baby like again and again, okay, because they, they want to clear it out. Because of that, a lot of neonatal deaths are happening. So with what we have done it is like before even you uh, put a vaccination, you have to scan the device and the device will tell this particular baby already vaccinated or not. If it is not vaccinated, then only the particular vaccine should be utilized. So this also be integrated with the government of India's PHR uh, system. Yeah, thank you so much.